thoughts of uh, your, your squad playing a full 90? Uh, yeah, good question, Maz. I mean, we had some mental lapses, for sure, and that has to stop. I mean, you could go back not just the last game, but the other games, too. Uh, you are pay- playing the most potent, most in rhythm offense you've faced this season. How do you prepare for that? Well, look, I think our team has been pretty good defensively, uh, other than the, you know, maybe I could say the individual mistakes. So, again, back to Maz's point, do we make sure that we're focused and concentrated for 90 minutes? We'll need that. Uh, as far as tactically changing how we play, yeah, we'll be aware of Ricky and, you know, some of the movements. Uh, obviously, paint still's super fast. Uh, we'll have to watch out there for his speed, but we'll still try and play the same. And then, you know, the best way to stop offense is if we possess the ball. It's a big field. We can make them chase. Maybe they're a little more tired. So there's different different ways to cut that. Uh, injuries. Uh, Obed Vargas, how's, how's Obed doing? Uh, he's not going to play, which is unfortunate. Uh, he hasn't finished the concussion protocol. Safety is always number one priority. So that's that's a story there. Albert's a full 90. Albert's in full. And what does he bring in terms of your possession? Possession, yeah. Better possession, maybe a little higher up the field. He'll be able to get us out of some spots, but since he's moved up a line from last couple of seasons when I had him back there with JP, I think you guys see the quality that he has. What will we need to give Josh and Tim Steele back from this red card last week? Yeah, he's chomping at the bit. I almost have to hold him back. He like feels guilty feels guilty about that last game so just just play normal he'll be fine Sorry. Uh, your leaders have to say anything or sometimes they say that but that's what I think just in terms of where they are and meeting the result here I mean that's the that's the conversation that you know driven by players holding themselves as individuals and as a group of players accountable how do the coaches do that message it's the same message but a little bit different how do I challenge players how do I you know put my arm around them and say they're a good team those are all little conversations that are happening a lot the miscommunications defensively uh, how much do you spend with the players that you allow Andy to just kind of handle that or do you guys kind of team well Preki had a Preki had some team film uh, Andy does defending, Freddie does, you know, it's different. Uh, we've got plenty of resources. Uh, Rodrigo and Johnny, they put stuff up. Uh, they all have individual accounts that we push stuff up to, set pieces, defending, attacking movements, players. If they're going to play against a new player, we'll upload a bunch of videos of that particular player. So they get enough film. How's JP doing? He's doing better. He's doing better. He's jogging around. He'll be in full training next week, and we'll see if we can get him ready for Montreal. We asked Alex about just playing against a really high potent offense and how he basically said this could be, why can't this be a moment for us to turn our season Sure. Around. Is that sure. a message you've kind of talked to him about too? Well, I haven't put that message out there directly. Uh, we kind of had that message against San Jose, and it kind of backfired. So let's just see if we can play up to our potential. And if we play up to our potential, I think that gives us the best chance of winning. We found out this week uh, that the Philadelphia game was going to get rescheduled after the D.C. one. There's a possibility, kind of looking at the timeline, that maybe Leo wouldn't be available. Not not that that's going to happen, but if that was the case, have you been told what the process is? Yeah, there's, there's specific rules. If a guy who started that game in Philly when it got rained out can't, play because of injury then you can take one person off the subs bench and put him in the game and then you can take someone from who wasn't on the bench and put him on the subs bench but you can't bring a guy out and replace Leo Chu directly so it has to be someone from the bench on that particular day thanks coach thanks everybody thanks coach